As a fundraiser, it's my job to visit a lot of our countries, a lot of our projects, and see the work that we're doing, see the goodness, the donations that you're making, and how it's having an impact on the lives of our beneficiaries. This is a family that live here in Tanzania with no money whatsoever. The father of this family is severely malnourished. You can see by his body and his frame that his body is, is craving for more food. He works all day desperately trying to earn a living for his family by making roofing out of coconut leaves. And for all of his efforts, he earns just 20 pence a day. How could you sustain your family of four people on 20 pence a day? He said Ramadan is just a normal month for us. Sometimes we eat once a day anyway. We asked him what type of food he eats in Ramadan. He said to this day, he has never ate or never tasted a date in his whole life for Ramadan. He's never had one piece of fruit for Ramadan. Brothers and sisters, let's make a difference. Let's walk away from every project knowing that we did the best that we could and we helped every family we came in contact with. This is our sister, Um Ibrahim. Um, she's a widow. Her husband was martyred in Syria just literally two years ago. When we asked how he passed away, she told me that he was burnt alive. And this is our sister who's now hungry. She's living with 17 members of her family in a small apartment. And when we ask her how she gets on, how she provides for her children, she told us that when she first came into Jordan, she would get 24 Jordanian dollars per month for each person living in the house. Every month that is now decreasing and now she gets 13 Jordanian dollars per month. That's about 13 pounds. Some months it's enough for them to eat and the other months it's not. These are the types of families that we need to support brothers and sisters. Whilst we live comfortable, whilst we don't need to think about the food that is going to be on our tables, we have families like this, our brothers and sisters who are suffering. I'm here in a camp in Cameroon, just miles away from the conflict of the Central African Republic. Sitting next to me is our sister Adra, who had to flee the violence and the bloodshed. Sister Adra had to witness the death of her family. She made her way to here, this camp in Cameroon, which Islamic Help has set up with your kind donations. Every month is a struggle for her, wondering where the food will come from for her children. This is our opportunity to come forward and ensure that sisters like Sister Adra have food on their tables because we, the Muslim Ummah, believe that she is one of us and we can provide for her.